first thing to point out are the enemies on the minimap. On the hard difficulty level, they wouldn't be there, so it would be up to the player to um, monitor um, the environment using his binoculars and locate the en enemies for himself. So here we are at our first sniping spot. A couple of enemies um, around the hut on the beach. Have a look. Who's here? First thing um, I want to be sure of when I approach a sniping spot is to be in the right stance to um, engage on enemies. Um, there's a big difference on how on how the scope how the scope is steady depending on the stance. So it's always smarter to lay down and um, yeah simply be stealthy about it. When looking for the scope, um, I have a couple of um, um, indicators that allow me to um, compensate for for the ballistic factors. Um, that are implemented in the game. Um, uh, distance meter, uh, magnification uh, level, wind strength and direction, that's all up uh, in the upper part of the screen. Um, lower right we have lung capacity, ammo count, medkit count and pulse meter, um, which allows us to hold, us hold our breath and take that steady shot. So my my first uh, target, um, priority target, would be the guy with the best overview. In this case, is the enemy sniper uh, circling around on the second floor of the hut. As you can see, I have um, this red dot that shows that that shows where the bullet is going to hit. This is something I would not have on uh, on hard mode. I would have to take into account all the ballistic factors and before I place the shot. As you've seen, uh, when I hold my breath. Um, we slow down um, time a bit um, to represent the concentration of the sniper. This is another um, feature that's not there when playing on hard. So when playing on hard I can hold my breath but that only makes the scope go steady and doesn't slow down time. Having the tags over the heads make it easy to spot them um, behind the um, cover. Um, also this is another thing for casual mode. Get this guy behind that palm him out of the way. That's down to two. One of the uh, biggest improvements we've done to Sniper Ghost Warrior 2 um, compared to the um, previous game um, is the AI system. Enemies now aren't able to attack from longer distances. They will use cover to try to um, shorten the, the distance to the player and only once uh, we're in range of their assault rifles they will attack. What is also um, nice about the AI in, in Sniper Ghost Warrior 2 is um, um, the grou group be behavior, as we call it. Um, the larger the group, um, if there's a larger group of enemies, they act more aggressive, they're more confident when um, changing the cover to approach the player. One enemy is, um, acts much more, um, is much more um, defense-oriented, defense, um, meaning he will stick to cover, will not be as aggressive, will not try to approach the player, rather will try to defend his position. All heat signatures in the house are cold. Take out the outpost. Some of the enemies might um, choose to um, try to flank the player, so they might have come, came this path and try to get me from behind. I was lucky enough um, to, to be able to take him out before that happened. You can see around the minimap, Minimap in the um, lower left, um, the red um, circle um, blinks around around the minimap. That means there's an enemy um, in the area that is alarmed. He hasn't seen me yet, but he's there, ready for me, alerted. Meaning he'll s um, uh, it's possible that he will see me much faster than if he will be um, unaware of my presence. I'm going to use night vision goggles try to locate the guy. There he is. Hold the breath for the steady shot. That's him out. A cool new feature in Sniper Ghost Warrior 2 is what we call trigger feel. Um, when sh taking the shot, I have to be really smooth and gentle on the trigger um, to avoid um, recoil. Um, if, I'm, if I pull the trigger too fast, um, the recoil, the, there's a big, larger recoil, recoil on the weapon. Um, the, the rifle goes up after the shot and that might, um, that might make me not miss the target even though he was right there in the crosshairs. The AI, the AI stays the same for all difficulty levels. Um, there, 
it, it is not possible even on casual to uh, run to enemies and still have a fair chance um, in a direct um, once being in range in a direct fight with an assault rifle against a sniper rifle so it's always smart to um, keep it stealthy and, and use the distance to your advantage rather than go, go gun blazing. Um, I just got information from dispatch that there's a heat signature um, on my 12 as she said. Um, playing on casual I get a big um, icon indicating where he is over his head. Um, this wouldn't be here on, on higher difficulty levels as well. So with him out of the way I can proceed to take out the rest of the group. You see on the minimap there is four of them. I'll go for the one that seems to be around the corner from the rest, so the rest of the enemies um, don't know that it's him going down. That was pretty close. Probably if I wouldn't be around um, laying down in grass and behind the rocks, I would be in deep trouble. He'll start uh, rushing at me, but uh, made it.